Hello and welcome to Computing Fundamentals 2. What is a graph? In this video, we are going to introduce you to the mathematical definition of a graph and its many types. But first, we need to define what we mean by graphs in general. Then we will discuss in details the definition of simple graph. Then we will discuss what is a complete graph, empty graph, and finally, line a graph. Informally, a graph is a bunch of dots and lines where the lines connect some pairs of dots. The following figure is an example of a graph with nine nodes and eight edges. Graphs are ubiquitous in computer science because they provide a handy way to represent a relationship between pairs of objects. The objects represent items of interest such as programs, people, and we place an edge between a pair of nodes if they are related in a certain way. For example, an edge between a pair of people might indicate that they like or they don't like each other. An edge between a pair of courses might indicate that one needs to be taken before the other. The first definition is going to be about symbolic graphs. A symbolic graph G consists of non-empty set V called the vertices and those are the nodes of G and a set of E which is the edges and they contains two element subset of V. The members of E are called the edges of G and we write G as a combination of V and E. The vertices correspond to the dots in the figure and the edges correspond to the lines. The graph in the figure is expressed mathematically as G equal the combination of V and E, where V is the subset A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. Now the edges are two element subset, so the first edge between node A and node B is donated by the subset A and B. Another subset which is donating the relationship between A and C is donated by a and C. You need to note that A and B as an edge and B and A are different descriptions of the same edge since sets are unordered. In this case, in this graph in the figure, we have nine nodes and eight edges. The second definition is going to be describing symbolic graphs. So two vertices in a symbolic graph are said to be adjacent if they are joined by an edge and an edge is said to be incident to the vertices it joins. The number of edges incident to a vertices f is called the degree of the vertex and is donated by the function degree of v. The degree of a vertex is equal the number of vertices adjacent to it. In the symbol graph shown in the figure below, we can observe the following. Vertex A is adjacent to B and B is adjacent to D and the edge A and C is incident to a vertex A and C. Vertex H has a degree of 1 because it's only connected to another node. D has a degree of 2 and degree of E equal 3 because E is connected to F, C and G. It is possible for a vertex to have a degree of zero, in which case it is not adjacent to any other vertices. A symbol graph does not need to have any edges at all. In this case, the degree of every vertex is zero, but it does need to have at least one vertex. Symbol graphs do not have any self loops. Since an edge is defined to be a set of two vertices, in addition, there is at most one edge between any pair of vertices in a symbol graph. In other words, a symbol graph does not contain multi-edges or multiple edges. That is because E is a set. Lastly and most importantly, symbol graphs do not contain directed edges, that is, edges of the form A and B instead of the subset A and B. Complete graphs, what we mean by complete graphs? In this fashion, the complete graph on n, on n vertices donated by k of n and has an edge between every two vertices for a total number of n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2. And this is shown in the following figure. Figure 2 is giving you the complete graph on 5 nodes and we call this graph k of 5. 
The empty graph has no edges at all. For example, the empty graph with five nodes is shown in the following figure, figure number three. There is five nodes and they are not connected with each other, which means they don't have any relationship between each other. Finally, line graph, the n node graph containing n minus one edges in a sequence is known as the line graph L of n. More formally, L of n is a combination of V and E, where V equal the set V1 up to Vn, and E is two element subset between V1 and V2 up to Vn minus one and Vn. Example of line graph, L5 is an example of five node in the graph. So L5 line graph is displayed in figure four. If we add the edge V1, V2 to line graph L of N, we get the graph C of N, which consists of a simple cycle. For example, if we add the edge V1, V2 to L5, shown in the above figure, this result in C5 as il illustrated in figure five. So basically in this video, we have covered the definition of simple graphs, complete graphs, empty graphs, and line graphs. In next video, we will cover the following introduction to graphs, graph taxonomy, and graph models. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.